So we're going to harvest sweet potatoes. Now, these are not going to be the sweet potatoes that you're going to buy at the store or find at the store or the farmer's market. This is our first year growing sweet potatoes, and we've learned some very important growing tips about them. One being that we need to have very large established slips before we put them in the ground. We just started with very short uh, slips that we started very late in the season. So we're going to start our slips very early next year, preferably even January. Second being, with long slips, everywhere that vine touches the ground is going to put tubers on under the ground. It's another thing that we've learned. And that sweet potatoes like a lot of heat or warm weather and here in the upper Midwest portions of the United States, we just really haven't had those intense warm summers or hot summers like we are traditionally, well, we traditionally have. Nevertheless, we're going to harvest these. We're going to see what we have because we do have some potatoes under the ground. We'll take what lessons we've learned this year and apply them to next year and be even better sweet potato gardeners for future, future years to come. So, got our trusty garden fork. This is the slip where the potatoes are. Now you can harvest the leaves and make stir fry out of them. Some people do that and are very tasty. We're not, we're just going to compost them. We're gonna see what uh, tubers we have under the ground here. Let's see what we got. Well, Nothing that's going to win any prizes here, but that sure is promising for future planting that we know what we're doing, at least somewhat. Those are somewhat tiny. Oh, they are tiny. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. These are tiny, but with all what we've got planted here, we might be able to get at least, you know, a meal out of them. So let's go ahead and harvest the rest of them, and then we'll see what we end up with. It's a decent size. Now, obviously, for those of you who grow sweet potatoes, on a very regular basis, uh, you may be laughing, and, and I'm okay with that. We're, we're okay with that. But we are getting some size here. And again, if we would have planted these very early and had very good slips, that would have made a very different conclusion to this story. So that's two plants. Let's go ahead and dig the rest of them up here. So the conclusion to our sweet potato harvest is this. It's not an embarrassment, but a learning experience. And that's really what gardening is all about, taking the knowledge that you've learned this year and apply it to next year so you can be a better gardener. We've learned that the slips need to be larger and we need to get them in as early as we possibly can. Obviously, the weather this year didn't cooperate in this situation. It has in other situations in the garden. So we'll take these, we'll eat these, we'll enjoy these, and we'll take the knowledge that we've gathered this year to plant better sweet potatoes next year. To see all of our Straight to the Point video series, you can go to our website, which is thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and you click on the Straight to the Point icon. Music